Samsung's really good at doing their little teasers, and I'm going to do a fast one right at the beginning of this video. <clears throat> on the very bottom, when you pull this up, this is where you can do dual view or a cascade view. So I'm going to first show you what dual view means. Obviously what dual, dual view is, is that you can have two different screens going on at once. And so let's say that I have maybe music player and then the internet. And so you can kind of see how I have two different screens up at the same time, two apps running. You can also press on the arrow in the center and you can move this left or right depending on which one you'd like to have bigger or smaller, if it's more important or less important. Now really fast, when you go into the cascade view, what that does is it just cascades it. And so this is where you can make these bigger or smaller, put them in front of the other. And this is when the multitasking comes into play. So I have several different windows open at once. Now that's a little bit of the teaser. Now let's go into the main purpose of this video, which will be the Peel Smart Remote. So as you can tell right now, this TV that I have in front of me is off. So is my cable box my um, Blu-ray DVD player, and then the other AV Blu-ray DVD player that I use um, for the audio. So I'm going to head into the Peel Smart Remote, and this is actually all set up. And so I'm going to show you how I have mine set up, and then I'll go into how you can make it yourself. So as of right now, the Oscars are on. Um, you can see where you have different TV shows that you have set up. And so I already have my little end created for my favorites. You know, so I have comedy, reality, kids, war, animation, all that type of stuff, which you can do by yourself. Now, up in this upper right-hand side, <clears throat> sorry, this is where you have the power icon. For the power icon, you can tell that I have the Uverse DVR, the Vizio TV, the Samsung AV receiver, and then the Vizio DVD player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn on my Vizio TV, and then I will also turn on my... DVR on the very bottom. So as you can tell, on the very bottom left-hand side of your screen, uh, the green icon came on, which shows that the AT&T U-verse is coming on, and then the TV is popping on as well, too. Now, if I want to get the other two on, all I got to do is just hit the power on both of them, and then there we go. But what I'm going to first show you a little bit of how you can navigate around, and then, you know, if need be, I can show you that later on. So check this out. So right now I'm watching TV, and let's say that I do not want to watch the show, which... I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe Avatar or something like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So I'm going to head into Top Picks. <clears throat> and so I'm going to click on the Oscars. And then all you have to do is click on Watch on TV. And now the TV right there is plugging in the numbers. And now I'm here on the Oscars. Now let's say I want to go back and maybe I want to watch a little animation or see what's on, um, you know, for kids. So I see SpongeBob SquarePants is on. I'm going to click on SpongeBob SquarePants. Right here, this is where you can add it in as a favorite. You can exit out to where you don't have to see SpongeBob ever again. You can set a timer to um, you know, record it on your DVR and everything. But I'm going to head over into Watch on TV. Here we go. And it is changing my <laughs> TV to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, inside of SpongeBob SquarePants, let me turn on the volume. Right here, this is the volume rocker, and you can tell that on the TV, the volume is actually going down. So you got volume down, you got volume up, you also have re um, rewind, and then you also have fast forward. Uh, outside of that, you have the play, and you also have the pause. So right now it's paused. I'm going to hit play, and now it's going to be playing again. If I want to mute the TV, I can mute the TV. All I had to do is just hit this icon right there. Now, if you hit on the, the multiple arrows, which is this icon right here, this is where you can go into the DVR. And so if there's something I want to watch on the DVR, then I can watch it. If I hit on menu, then it's going to show me my DVR menu. Let's say I go back. Maybe I want to, or I'm going to exit. And now let's say that I want to click on the info of the show. So I clicked on info, and now it's giving me all the info needed. So I'm not going to go into, you know, all of these just because you can kind of see that, you know, hey, this is really cool. Maybe if I go into DVR, maybe I want to go back into the Oscars. So I have actually recording. I'm going to do my, my down arrow. I'm going to go into the part one of the red carpet. Hit OK. And now I'm going to hit OK to resume play. Then here we go. So I hope that's amazing for you guys. Uh, I completely nerded out when I first got this, and I love it. Now, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to head into where you can, wait, let me go back here. Underneath here, this computer icon, this is 
where you have it set up to where my room or work. And so underneath work, I have a different TV and a DVR um, and a VCR and things like that. But when I come home, I just click on my room and then this is where I have all of this already set up. So underneath watching TV, you can turn them all off, you can add more devices, things like that. And then you also have the power button where if I want to, I can turn off my Vizio um, TV and now I can turn off my U-verse. As you can tell, both of them are off. First, what I'll show you is you have favorites icon, then you have the My TV Shows. You also have movies, and so you can rank different movies and different um, genres you guys like. Then you have the sports, put in the genres you like, and then here is the settings. Just so you guys know, when you see SD, that just means standard. Now, when you scroll all the way down, if you guys have HD for TV, I'm going to go all the way into the thousands here, and here it shows. HD. And then this is where if you have specific TV shows you like, you just highlight them. If you don't like them, exit them off and then it's not even going to show up at all. So what I'm going to do is underneath the settings, this is where the rooms and devices are at. And so with my room, I have all of these set up. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to hit remove. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to hit delete. So I just deleted everything and now I have nothing but my little work that I have set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new room. And this is exactly what you guys will be doing when you first get this device. And so I'm going to call this uh, new room, I'm going to call it living room. So I chose living room. And I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to hit continue. And now that I hit continue, I just have to say what TV I have. I'm going to go into other TV brands, head into Vizio, because that's the TV I have. And now you click on turn on Vizio TV. So I clicked on it. Now, if it turns on or does not turn on, obviously mine turned on. You have these different options. Say no, try another code. You'll have retry if you want to just retry that same code or hit yes. And so since it turned on my TV, I'm going to hit yes. Now I'm going to type in my zip code here. You know, the C bands, you have DirecTV, Dish, AT&T U-verse, and I'm going to go into the AT&T U-verse, and then it's going to figure out all of my um, my channels and things like that. I also have DVR and I am connecting that to my Vizio TV and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the input for my DVR and so what I did was now that we're back in I have my TV on which I set with this device right here with the Note 10.1 now I just had to turn on my AT&T U-verse so then I could figure out exactly which input I had that on so right now I do not see it on my TV so I'm going to hit send next TV code. Now it's going into my HDMI 2. Let's see if this is where my AT&T U-verse is at. All right, no signal. I'm going to send the next one. Let's see if it pops up. Still no signal. It does not pop up. Send next TV signal. Let's see if this one pops up. Sorry you guys are going through this with me, but I wanted to show you guys this in real time. Now I found it. And now I'm going to say, my TV is on my cable box. Now what it's going to do is it's, I'm going to hit on next channel, and let's see if it changes the channel. If it changes the channel, then this is where you're going to want to sit, hit yes or no or retry. It says it changed it, I'm going to hit yes. So there's different codes for everything that you have going on. So now that the TV and the AT&T U-verse is all set up, I'm going to add a new device. And so I'm going to do really fast. I'm not going to do all of them. I am actually just going to be doing the Blu-ray player. So I'm going to go to add new device. I'm going to go to Blu-ray player. Still not this code. And now I'm at the HDMI side. And now once it pops up, just to make sure, I'm going to say my television is on the input for my Blu-ray player. And what, what brand is my Blu-ray player? This one is also going to be a Vizio, came with a TV. And so now I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Hit on Vizio. Now what i got to do is turn it off purpose for this is because this is going to have you turn it on. <laughs> so just give it two seconds. Now it is off. So now I'm going to hit on this icon right here. Oh man, it says turn off Blu-ray player. Never mind. Here we go. Turn it back on. I guess you can do it either way. Sorry about that, guys. And I hit yes because it actually turned it on. And now everything is all connected. And so I do want to give a big shout out for everybody who just watched this video going through everything with me. And all of those who are subscribing and hitting on like, things like that. So, 
now that I kind of watched everything I just did, I do want to go over this very, you know, very left column inside of settings. Right here, uh, before I mentioned that this is your favorite TV shows, I actually meant to say this is your channels. And so you have the SD for standard, and then you also have the HD down here in the thousands. That is, you know, the different TV stations that you would like or not like just by clicking on, you know, the station itself to where you can either put a blue check mark or a black X. So over here, what you have is you have edit channels. And so this is actually what you're doing right now. Below that is the rooms and devices. This is where you can see your current room or you can change it into living room or work, things like that. Also, you have profile. This is where you can put in, you know, Facebook and Twitter, age, gender, things like that. Favorite programs. There's a movie that was on taking of uh, Pelham 123, and I did like that. Cut programs. You also have genres. This is where the genres of, if you like thriller, action, lifestyle, special, you know, event, things like that. And then you also have all of these on here, which I took off, which is talk, soap, holiday, game show, foreign, things like that. Then you have sports. You also have send feedback, and then you can reset your appeal settings on everything as well. The very last thing I wanted to show you guys is underneath TV shows. I have it, you know, underneath comedy. And let's say you want to see something other than these TV shows that's on right now. Maybe you want to look at something that is in the next uh, 30 minutes or even the next hour away. Or when you click on the today and the time, this is where you can choose something that is yesterday, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, a different day, different time, things like that. And the other portion is down here. If you want to go back into your little volume rocker and everything else where you can go into DVR, back, and exit, and menus, things like that, this is where you will find this. If you're inside of a video or a channel and you want to pull that back up, that is how that works. So you might ask yourself, how does this work and what other, what other devices can I use to have it work with, you know, acting as if a remote. We're on the very bot or on the very top up here. You're going to notice that there is an IR blaster right here. Yeah, IR is infrared. And the, the devices that you can use this with as of off the top of my head is going to be the Note 10.1 as well as the Note 8.0, which they're actually talking about over at the Mobile World Congress this weekend or starting tomorrow the next day, and which I just totally just did the timestamp on today, which is February 24th. Other than that, um, you also have the Galaxy Tab series. Thanks for watching, and peace out. <laughs>